sunny and breezy, this beautiful day is perfect for plugging. That's what these three friends are doing, jogging and picking up trash. And there are rules if you're plogging with a group. You can't just suddenly bend over in front of someone else. It'd become like a Three Stooges event and everyone would fall over. You want to make sure that you kind of cover a little bit of different territory. People kind of naturally fall into that role. So if I'm a little bit more to the curbside, I'll look towards the gutter. And someone else a little bit close to the hedges, they fall into picking up there. So you get a rhythm going between people. Jeff Horowitz, a personal trainer, says it was interesting to discover that what he's been doing for a long time has become a fitness trend, as more people around the world are now plogging. This is just my personal ethic, where I would go for a run, and if I happened to see a piece of garbage laying around and it was within reach, it was kind of a little, uh, a little test of mine to see if I can grab it and throw it in a nearby trash can without stopping. Up and down ten times. Plogging takes some preparation. We usually start with doing some body weight squats, some calisthenics, some balance work. Gloves are important. You want to make sure that this is going to be healthy for you, even you have good intentions. You never know what you'll find. Um, it might be broken glass, medical waste. I wouldn't say I do it all the time. Um, sometimes we get groups together on a Saturday or Sunday. We, we go for a run, we'll pick up some garbage, then we'll actually go for brunch after and we'll kind of make a little bit of an event of it. Encouraging more people to plug helps raise awareness about Washington's litter problem, say officials with the mayor's clean city office. When the street looks bad and it's dirty, you're going to feel bad about the neighborhood, about the community, may even feel less safe. Plogging also helps advance a citywide fitness initiative. Fit DC is Mayor Bowser's initiative to get DC back to number one in the country as the fittest city in the nation. Big piece, big piece. <laughs> I feel much better. I'm rewarded myself. Um, and then I'm looking out for everybody else that's going to be running in these streets as long as I will. I would just hope people would think twice before dropping their garbage on the ground. We have receptacles, seems like every block. So it's easy to put your garbage in the trash. And that's the message ploggers hope people on the street will get when they see them jogging and picking up trash. We didn't change the world, but we made it just a little bit better than it was. For Fiza El Masri in Washington, Faith Lapidus, VOA News. Sweet. <laughs> All right, high five. Okay, well done.